Zippers are a great way to finish off a pocket, but many instructions to make zipper pockets leave the zipper tape edges exposed inside the pocket. This is unsightly and rough looking. This tutorial shows you how to make a zipper pocket and have the zipper tape completely concealed inside. It also uses French seams on the sides of the pocket bag for one less seam to finish. To make a zipper pocket, you need a zipper, a pocket facing with matching interfacing, a piece of interfacing for where the pocket goes, and a pocket bag. First, you need to put the interfacing on the pocket facing. Use your iron and press firmly. Remember to lift your iron and then press in a new location rather than dragging. Once the interfacing is on the facing, it will look like this. Next, you have to determine the location of your zipper. Once you decide, then you will put a piece of interfacing the same size as the one on the facing on the wrong side of the material where the pocket will go. This is a six inch long zipper. Make sure to measure only the metal part, but not the little flappy ends. Draw a six inch box on the interfacing. Draw a center line, and then you can measure one quarter of an inch up and down to make the box. It is not necessary to draw the two triangles, but I have here to make it easier to see what is going on. The zipper will go here just like this. Next, put the facing on the other side of the project piece. It should be right side to right side, perfectly lined up. You can use pins in the corners like this to make sure you have proper alignment. Remove the pins before sewing. At the machine, there's no need to make a full box. You only need to sew parallel lines of the same length. Beginning at the corner, backstitch, and then stitch down towards the end. When you get down to the bottom, just lift your needle and move to the next line. There is no need to stop to trim your thread. Drop your needle again, backstitch, and then stitch a parallel line that is exactly the same length as the previous one. At the end, once again backstitch. Then, using your shears, cut a slit in the middle with the piece folded in half. On both ends, trim up to the triangles and then clip at a 45 degree angle up to the stitches, but be careful to not clip the actual stitches. Repeat on the other side cutting up to the triangle and then out towards the stitches without clipping the stitches. Now you have an opening. Use your fingers to press the facing along those seams. Next step is to understitch the facing to the seam allowances to help when you turn the facing out to the other side. Be careful when you are stitching that you do not go past the box ends. Stitch and back stitch, then stitch right along the edge of the crease. As you get down to the end of the box, make sure that you stop before the end of the opening and backstitch. Then repeat on the other side. Again, make sure not to stitch past the ends of the box and then stitch right along the edge of the creased facing. Now it is time to turn the facing to the other side of the project face. Pull everything through. You will see that the understitching helps pull the fabric around so the ironing is even easier. With your iron, press everything nice and flat. Now you have an opening for your zipper. Place the zipper just like this. Before you sew the zipper, quickly secure the ends of the zipper tape together. This will aid with the zipper sewing. Just sew back and forth on both ends. Be especially careful with the top end and hold the teeth perfectly even. You will end up with something like this. With your zipper foot, stitch along the edge. There is no need to pin, but it is okay if you want to. Just hold everything parallel and go down the edge. When you get to the zipper pull, leave your needle down, lift your presser foot, and then pull the zipper pull past your presser foot. Then continue stitching all the way down to the corner.
then pivot at the corner and stitch across. While your needle is down, pivot again. Make sure that you have an even space between the zipper teeth and the edge of your fabric and continue sewing along the edge. Once again, when you get to the zipper pull, leave your needle down and lift your presser foot. Pull the zipper pull past, then continue sewing. Pivot at the corner and then sew. Make sure that you end at the same place as your other stitching and then stitch right onto the previous stitching. The small section here is the top of the project and the large section is the bottom. You need to make sure that you top stitch the pocket bag to the zipper on the bottom side so there's no snags when using the zipper. Place the pocket bag material right on top of the zipper tape and then you're going to use your zipper foot to sew it to the zipper tape. Make sure all the other pieces of your project are out of the way and sew straight down the edge of the zipper tape. If you fold the pocket bag back on the zipper tape, you are ready to top stitch. You can see the previous stitch line. The top stitching will keep it in place and make sure it doesn't snag when you are opening and closing the zipper. Now you could sew the pocket bag closed as is, but it is better to flip it under so the wrong sides are touching. Line everything up square. This will allow you to put a French seam on the sides of the pocket bag. Stitch close to the edge all the way down to the bottom of the side of the pocket bag. Repeat on the other side. Sew close to the edge in preparation for a French seam. You can see here that the top of the pocket bag is still open. Next, you will stitch at the top end and then close off the French seams. You want to make sure that you catch the zipper tape at the top. You can sew along this seam allowance of the facing and that will catch the zipper tape underneath. Make sure everything is lined up in square. Then with your zipper foot sew all the way across, ensuring that you don't catch any of the other material below. Now you can see that the top is secure and you cannot see the zipper tape edges inside the pocket bag. Now sew the French seams. Start at the top. Make sure you enclose the interior edges. At the bottom, just backstitch and sew across the bottom of the pocket bag. This makes the pocket bag stronger and you will have less lost change. At the corner, pivot and then sew all the way up to the top, closing off the other side's French seam. Make sure that you do not sew any other parts of the fabric. At the top, you can use a zigzag stitch or an overcast stitch as I have here. You could also use a serger to finish the top seam. You can see that the bottom part of the bag has the top stitching over the zipper and the zipper tape edges are completely concealed. Now I have a cool place to put my tape. Zipper pockets are great and with French seams on the pocket bag sides, only the top exposed seam needs additional finishing. Put a zipper pocket in your next project.